You're my favorite. No, you're oh. my favorite. What's the favorite map? Hi, Scissoring here, and uh, today I'm going to make a video about the favorite map system. What does it do? How does it work? Etc. So let's move in game. So I have the Atlas here, and uh, I'm also going to flashbang you with a notepad in a second. But if we hover over the left side here, we can see that it uh, it says like, it's a like favorite maps, and uh, here it says slot one, two, and three are all locked. To unlock the uh, first slot, we have to complete all the non-unique maps in the region. Basically, throw in four watchstones and make sure everything is filled in. Completing it, it just means you can do it white. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do awakening level. You don't have to do the bonus. You just have to kill the boss in every map in that region. Um, for slot two, that means you have to do the bonus. So that means you will have to, for some maps, do uh, like the blue maps will have to be done blue. The rare maps will have to be done out. The red maps will have to be done uh, red and corrupted. So that's how you get the bonus. And then the awakening level... It's basically you will uh, need to have Awakening level 8 and have done all the maps. Awakening level does not require the map to be done with the bonus. You can you can do a white map and still achieve the Awakening level. So that's how you unlock them. But what do they do and how do map drops work in Path of Exile? So the way it works, and let's see that we're, we're, we're searching for tier 16s right now. And, and this also matters a lot with where you have your watchstones. But if I search 16 right now, you can see that the only tier 16s that can drop regardless of where I am and what I'm doing, is a, is these four. I drop Excavation, a Tall and Arachnid Nest, and a Caldera. So let's write that down. I have a Caldera, I have an Arachnid Nest, I have an Excavation, and I have an Atoll. Those are the four maps that can drop. So when the game goes, Tier 16 is dropping, which one is it? It is now a 25% chance between all of these, pretty much. For most intensive purposes that are important for this video. Um, there are some like increased chances with whatever you're close to and what you haven't completed, but let's ignore that because it's not really important for this. Now, let's see that we favor it at all just once. If I favor it at all just once, what does that do? Basically it does this. Let's see. That's five. That's ten. And it's one more. So now we basically have eleven at all maps in the pool. So now it's going to choose a tier 16 to drop and it'll go like, oh, I was a toll. Oh, I was a toll again. Oh, I was a toll again. It was a toll again. It was Caldera. It was a toll. It was a toll. It was a toll. So you get it. It, uh, it adds 10 to the selective pool. Now, and again, at no point here are you getting more tier 16s ever. But if I add, um, and if I add two more favorite, then it looks like this. Now, pretty much every tier 16 I drop will be in a toll. But obviously, if I, uh, if I add more watchstones to other regions, then we're adding like a large amount more maps and the, the chance for toll slowers. I'm sure there's some regions even on this atlas, but at least lastly, um, there were there were some regions where there was only one. Let's say that Mudgeyser is the only tier 16 in turns end, right? If I favored Mudgeyser, literally nothing happens. If I favored Mudgeyser now, I'm I'm still just like rolling between factory and Mudgeyser. So just remember that it does not give you more map drops. It only gives you a bigger chance that when a map of that tier drops, it's going to be that tier. I'm mostly favoring a tall map here, and, and that's like what I'm farming. Haywork Hamlet is really good because you have all the harvest nodes, and the essence nodes are insane. And it's it's pretty much the best region I live here. Um, so that's how the favorite map system works. It is definitely worth using. And do remember, you want to play around with, uh, with having with moving your watchstones around. I like to keep most of them in, so I basically have all my regions have three in them, except for one region that has four. The reason for that is I want pretty high awakening level because that gives me some bonuses. Like you can see the bonuses here. I have awakening level seven because I've upgraded awakening level with the Uncharted Realms. I have a few other videos talking about those. Uh, and I just wanted to explain how the, the favorite map system works. But, but do remember, like now on this atlas, I can currently not drop any... Let's see, what's the lowest map I can drop? I can currently not drop any tier 9s or lower. So currently, if a tier 9 map was about to drop, it just nothing will happen. I cannot drop any tier 9 maps. Uh, so tier 9 to 0 right now, or tier 9 to 1, is just wasted. So keep that in mind with uh, with running your atlas. I don't care about low level map drops. Map sustain is so easy this thing, and I have a, a very large amount of tier 16s and 15s and 14s. I hope the video helps. I hope it makes sense and that you understand the favorite map system now. 
and uh, it is very very worth using so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching sub if you like the content but more importantly try to die less than i do